All right, hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm excited because in the video today, I'm going to be unboxing my new Truman boots in Desert Oasis Suede. Now, let me start out by saying that this has been a makeup I've wanted for a long time. And recently I've gotten more into white boots for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's, I think it's because I'm trying to fill the void from the uh, Gaucho Moose that I sold off uh, not too long ago because the Gaucho Moose, they were essentially a white boot sort of like a really cool sort of marching band type looking boot, you know, that the marching bands wear, but in a more rugged way. But in today's video, so I finally landed a pair of Trumans in Desert Oasis. And what really got me looking at Desert Oasis Trumans was um, they've done several iterations. I think they did a Chukka in Desert Oasis. And then one of my friends, I think it was Raw Denim OCD, on Instagram, he had some Desert Oasis boots. You know, Truman, like I've said before, they don't get enough credit for the thought that they put into their designs. I think they do a fantastic job with the amount of intellectual labor they put into their designs. So here we go. The Desert Oasis suede is from Charles F. Stead Tannery. And actually, I can't bring up the description on the Truman Boots website anymore because it is down. I think it was part of an, a Boxing Day sale. And I think that I think that all, all of them sold out. So unfortunately, they're no longer on the website for me to use as a reference. And actually nobody, nobody from what I've been able to see has used the hashtag Desert Oasis, you know, for Truman, Truman boots. So, all right. Oh look, finally, Truman sent me a handwritten letter. Oh no, they didn't. It is a very nice card um, inside of a sheath here. Thank you, this is where it all begins. Each scrape and scuff a part of the journey. After all, these boots were made for walking and working and hiking and wandering. And above all else, these boots were made for you. Share your journey at Truman Boot Company on Instagram. All right, and then, oh, very nice. Smell coming out of the box, it's just incredible. So first off, we've got some flat wax cotton laces. Very, very nice. And my favorite, the rawhide leather laces. Nothing beats these. They smell so good when they're brand new. Nobody talks about that, how good the rawhide laces smell when they're brand new. All right, and then these are wrapped very nicely. We've got a Truman sticker here. They updated that. That looks really cool. It's a dude fly fishing. That'll be going up on my, on my belt rack. Some Truman boot matches, very nice. And then let's get to the goods, okay. Oh wow. This is a l the left boot here. That leather from Charles F. Stead Tannery, the suede, the Rambler, all that stuff brand new just smells magical. What's so cool is every tannery really does do it differently when it, in terms of their finish and the, the smell of the boot when they finish it. It's got like a really nice new car smell I would compare the Stead suede to. And then, yeah, this makeup, oh God, it's so beautiful. It's more of, it looks more of a rough out than a suede, but it is suede, it is soft, very soft nap, very soft to the touch, almost very carpety. And probably my favorite part about this makeup, this contrasting uh, like chestnut brown tongue is beautiful. It's got real nice rough out on the inside, rough out texture, it's unlined. And probably my favorite part about this boot is the rolled, the rolled opening here at the top of the shaft. Yeah, that, that rolled finish that it has. This is my only pair of Trumans with that rolled edging there at the top. I think that looks very, very sharp. Again, Truman does not get enough credit for the amount of effort they put into the styling. A lot of people like them for their rugged look, but I think honestly, <laughs> they don't get enough credit for the styling. They really do a great job with styling each makeup. Not that I'm looking for perfection in the stitching, but the stitching is pretty dang perfect. Wow. So yeah, we've got the desert sand suede. We've got what looks like brown stitching, three rows stitching on the cap toe, two rows stitching on the, on the back heel stay, a really cool box pattern of stitching on the back heel strip. Triple stitching along the quarter here. Single stitch along each uh, side of the eyelets going up. We've got five antiqued eyelets with two antique brass speed hooks. Yeah, they're antiqued brass. These are 270 degree Goodyear welted. Beautiful on a 
Vibram 430 Full Soul. Incredible. I love that flat, the, the flat look of the Vibram 430 Full Soul. Yeah, very, very striking. Now, these, I do not think I'm going to be spraying these down with any suede protector, or maybe I should actually, because they are so white. But yeah, real nice, hairy, textured nap going on. Oh, I'm very impressed. Look at that. That's just incredible. Yeah, it's, they smell great. They look great. I love the contrasting brown tongue there. Everything about it. This is, this is not a starter boot. This is a boot that you get when you have 20 or 30 other pairs of boots and you're ready for something, you know, that's off-white. And yeah, the white on this is very much, and special call out to Dave, Boots of Manish Leather, otherwise known as the Vintage Future on YouTube. Yeah, my friend Dave, he did a, a video on his uh, beaver fur hat. And his hat, I want to say, is a similar colorway to these Trumans here on Desert Oasis Suede. And he, he described it in a really cool way. I'll actually link the video below. But yeah, it, long story short, white things are not white. Like white doesn't um, tell the full story. This is more of a an off-white. Yeah, it's more of a cream white, I would say. And with the brown stitching, it enhances more of that cream aesthetic. But yeah, it's like white desert sand. It really is. So desert sand is a good name for it. Can't wait to see how they patina. I can tell you already, these are gonna pick up some brilliant indigo crocking with my raw denim. Absolute brilliant. That the, the that raw denim is gonna bleed all over these. It's gonna, it's gonna look amazing. <laughs> Give it 50 to 100 wears uh, with raw denim, especially if you're like sweating. More, more and more of that raw denim is gonna come off and crock onto the uppers. It's gonna look incredible. So I think white boots, I don't think, enough guys have white boots out there. White is, you know, it's a risky color to get to get because of the potential for staining. But from what I can tell you and from what I understand, Charles F. Stead does a lot of really good treatments on these suede so that pretty much water, coffee, things like that beads right off. And then not to mention a good cleaning will remove most any stain that you get on these because it is actually very difficult to go in and actually permanently alter the color of the leather. I think I would feel safe wearing these without spraying these down. I think I'm gonna feel safe just throwing them on, wearing them like normal. If I if I spill something on them, no big deal, wipe it off. But ultimately, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of go au natural. I'm definitely not gonna condition these, and I'm definitely not I'm not gonna pre-treat these to enhance their their stain preventing abilities. I'm just I'm just gonna ride them out as they are, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, uh, I am very excited. Again, I think Truman just nailed these, and I think that uh, I think more guys need to start getting into white boots because, yes, it is a risk. Is it a risk? Absolutely. They're much more prone to staining, much more prone to showing their wear. But at the same time, if you're a purist like me, that's also the most gratifying thing is to see your stuff get worn and see the journey that they take on over time. And I can tell you already, I'm going to be wearing my Nobleman's Apothecary belt in natural veg tan with these a lot, as well as my pigeon tree crafting belt in the JNFJ Baker natural veg tan quick release belt as well. So I've already got some belts in mind for these. When, when, like I said, when you're 30, 40 pairs of boots in like I am, you're, you're ready to start taking more risks. And this is a risk, but I, I'm sure that it will end up being a being an interesting journey and a fun risk to take. Yeah, I won't be wearing these like to the soccer fields to kick around soccer balls because they will take on, you know, the green grass and things like that. But, uh, you know, I'll wear them day to day, sort of like into the office, to the mall, things like that, and just see how they look with some, some dedicated safe walking wear, day to day wear. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. I'm on Instagram, you can follow me there. My username is Eris here for LV. You can track how these will patina over time. Stay tuned and, uh, Thanks a lot for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.